so, so, so much. I just Facebooked a bunch of friends with a few pictures of you guys and told them how incredibly fortunate I was and that my birthday present was all of you. So thank you. A quick announcement. Uh, up on deck should be Creek Iverson and Steve Suffolk, Marsh Tim. Um, I was encouraged by a few people to do the whole piece, but I have cut it down considerably, considering we went from five minutes to three, correct? Yes. Um, this actually is a piece that was written to go with a painting that I did called A Work in Progress, The Unfinished Me. And, um, and it goes like this. I have dreamed on this mountain since first I was my mother's daughter, and you can't just take my dreams away without me fighting. No, you can't just take my dreams away. Hey, was I my mother's daughter, the left hand one, the second in line, the one who bucked the system? The unfinished one ran as fast as she could into the arms of the first opportunity. Left dad behind, angry in his unfunny way. He drove faster when I asked him to slow down in a snowstorm in the middle of winter. School had closed. Dad, slow down, I yelled. Yeah, all right. I'm just trying to scare you anyway. He laughed in his stupid little laugh. Unfinished, I ran away into other arms, 14 years old. 1970 crash pads on the street, stealing acid. Smart, you never got caught. White privilege, hmm, makes you want to go, hmm. School suggests a shrink might help my work in progress. I cower at the thought, but I end up trusting her until the end of the session when my dad walks in. Are you a virgin, he asks me. Are you going to tell mom, I respond with. He stands up, slaps me across the face with a heavy hand as his cigarette stench follows him out of the room. I'm trying to find my finish line. I'm trying to get ahead of those healed, healed up wounds that haven't quite healed as they fell into the abyss. And it's a hard, 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 it's a hard rain I'm gonna fall. To finish me, I have to break through this depression. To finish me, I need to keep going, smooth my confusion, simplify. I need to read more Winnie the Pooh. Sometimes, said Pooh, the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. So I responded by blowing the fuzzies off of a dandelion. I named my kitten Sweet Pea. I played drums in the park with my new friends. 16 years old, 1972, Angela Davis, La Sola Montaña. Social change, standing with my thumb out alone next to the highway, 97 degrees, rainbow family, here I come. Slept in a teepee on the side of the mountain, peyote. <laughs> Open the window, let the doves fly. <laughs> Uplift me, take me to the places that will expand my mind. Connect me with the universal flux I didn't know. And I also didn't know that a pearl was forming inside of this injured life. We crashed parties, tattooed bodies. Some of us cut ourselves up. Some of us made the cut deeper than others. Our deep sadness under a sea of sound, the light of music, came into our darkness. A megaphone screams into our deaf ears, misunderstandings and total clarity all at the same time. We sought comfort, refuge within each other as our saviors. I always knew that as soon as I saw you, an environment, I'm sorry, an adventure was about to happen. See me, feel me. Touch me, heal me, see me, feel me, touch me, heal me. I saw that I was amazing and you saw it too, making memories in your car named Moses. And my new cat, Schmutz, was there watching me. <laughs> Still, I was broken in need of repair. The wounds were deep, and going back home was not an option. Fast forward, I went to England with a Jamaican Shakespearean actor, came back with a little half-black baby, 
I saw you, Mom, through the living room window, Thanksgiving 1983. My little Dylan was only an infant, named after a raging sea. But we weren't invited to Thanksgiving that year. But the dog was. <laughs> Months before Mom offered to pay for an abortion, my baby didn't fit into your world, but neither did I. But I loved you fiercely, my little Dylan. Did you complete me, my little sweetie? How do you spell love? asked Piglet. You don't spell it, you feel it, said Pooh. I was strong, still unfinished, but a survivor, no longer feeling small. But still, they changed the locks. Imagine that. But I thrive anyway. I teach, I sing, I create art, I dance by the fire. And God bless the child that's got her alone. Oh, oh, oh.